Ika. The Young Women's Christian Association, Ika, is a movement working for the empowerment, leadership, and rights of women, young women, and girls in more than 100 countries. The members and supporters include women from many different faiths, ages, backgrounds, beliefs, and cultures. Their common goal is that, all is that, by 2035, 100 million young women and girls will transform power structures to create justice, gender equality, and a world without violence and war, leading a sustainable eco-movement, inclusive of all women. The World Office is currently based in Geneva, Switzerland. The Inca is independent of the Inca, but a few local Inca and Inca associations have merged into YM slash Incas or Inca Incas and belong to both organizations while providing the programs of each. Priorities Although the Inca is often associated with hostels and fitness centers, the World Inca is a human rights based organization that provides support and opportunities for women and girls to connect, mobilize, and inspire each other to take action for women's rights and gender equality. Leadership As a global movement that engages with and mobilizes women and girls, the World ICA is committed to progressive, community-based leadership. The World ICA takes a collaborative, intergenerational approach that centers young women's leadership. Human Rights and Women Rights The World ICA's work hinges on a commitment to human rights-based, feminist, faith and intersectional leadership. The global ICA movement has long emphasized a gender and human rights approach and tackled issues in support of gender equality and human rights. ICA's work to secure access to sexual and reproductive health and rights through comprehensive sexuality education and programming, safe spaces health services and training. ICAs also provide support to victims, survivors, and at-risk individuals through crisis, health, housing, and legal services, safe spaces, and advocacy. Faith Founded by women from Christian traditions and inspired by core principles of faith that recognize the equal value of all human beings, the ICO has a powerful faith-based, grassroots history. There is a wide range of eco associations. Some are ecumenical, while others are entirely secular organizations. The World Eco works with a range of multi faith leaders and ecumenical partners, secular organizations, governments. Events Eco Week Without Violence. Each year during the third week of October, Eco's worldwide focus on raising awareness to end violence against women and girls. Ica Week of Prayer Starting in 1904, the World Ica and the World Alliance of Imcas have issued a joint call to prayer during the Week of Prayer and World Fellowship. During this week, the two movements pray and act together on a particular theme in solidarity with members and partners around the world. The week-long event is a Bible study based on that year's theme. World Ica Day in 1948, World Ica's Observance Day was born to help each member see how she could act locally in relation to the theme for the year. Some chosen themes for the Observance Day have been my faith and my work, my place in the world, my contribution to world peace, I confront a changing world toward one world, and my task in family life today. In 1972, the event name was changed to World Ica Day and the date of celebration for World Ica Day became April 24. Governance Structure The World Board is the governing body of the World Ica and includes representatives from all regions of the global Ica movement. The World Council is the legislative authority and governing body of the World Ica. The 20 women who serve on the World Board are elected during the World Council which meets every four years to make decisions that impact the entire movement. This includes the World Ilka's policy, constitution, strategic direction, and budgets. The Council includes representatives from the 100-plus member associations that are affiliated with the global Ilka movement. History The Ilka can trace its history back to 1855, 
when the philanthropist Lady Mary Jane Kinnaird founded the North London Home for Nurses Travelling to or from the Crimean War. They addressed the needs of single women arriving from rural areas to join the industrial workforce in London by offering housing, education and support with a warm Christian atmosphere. Kinnaird's organization merged with the prayer union started by evangelist Emma Robarts in 1877. In 1884, the ICA was restructured. Until then, London had had almost a separate organization, but there was now one ICA organization. Beneath this there were separate staffs and presidents for London, England and Wales, Scotland, Ireland, foreign and colonial and missionary. This organization distributed Christian texts and literature, but it also interviewed young women in an effort to improve living conditions. In 1884, they were working amongst Scottish fisherwomen, publishing their own magazine and operating a ladies' restaurant in London. The World ICA was founded in 1894, with USA, Great Britain, Norway, and Sweden as its founding mothers. The first World Conference of the ICA was held in 1898 in London, with 326 participants from 77 countries from around the world. Early 20th Century In the beginning of the 20th century, a profound shift began within the ILCA. While industrialization had been a founding concern of the association, it had sought primarily to insulate women morally and socially from urban life. During the 1910 World ILCA Conference in Berlin, however, the voices of thousands of working women from the United States were heard, and these objectives began to change. A resolution was passed requiring the association to study social and industrial problems and to educate working women about the social measures and legislation enacted in their behalf. Until 1930, the headquarters of the World ICA were in London. The executive committee was entirely British, with an American general secretary. This policy resulted in a resolutely Anglo-Saxon lens through which the association viewed the world. In 1930, however, the World ICA headquarters were moved to Geneva, Switzerland, the same city as the newly formed League of Nations. This was symbolic of the drive to become a more diverse association and also to cooperate fully with other organizations in Geneva such as the International Committee of the Red Cross and the IMCA. World War Roman II, Min II, the Second World War both strengthened the ICAs of the world and left its mark. Many of its members found it necessary to choose between their conscience and the safety of themselves and their families. In several countries, particularly in Eastern Europe, ICAs were suppressed and disbanded. Throughout occupied Europe, however, women worked relentlessly to construct support systems for their neighbors and refugees, often with exceedingly limited resources. Shortly after the end of the war, the ICA worked to fortify the bonds of women throughout the world by holding the First World Council meeting in nearly a decade in Hangzhou in 1947. This was significant in being the First World Council held outside of the West and further voiced the desire to be an inclusive, worldwide movement. It also served to bring together women who lived in countries that had been enemies during the war, and to raise awareness among the Western Incas that the ruin of war was not limited to Europe. During the following decades, the world Inca spent much time researching and working with the issues of refugees, health, HIV and AIDS, literacy, the human rights of women and girls, the advancement of women and the eradication of poverty, mutual service, sustainable development, and the environment, education, and youth, peace, and disarmament. These issues continue to play an integral role in the world ICA movement. ICA's around the world. As a global movement that engages women and girls from across backgrounds, beliefs, and cultures, ICA has a presence in over 100 countries across eight regions, with over 130,000 volunteer leaders in thousands of local communities across the globe. Around the world, ICAs vary in size and programming. Many ICAs operate as independent entities at the local level and belong to their country's national ICA body as part of a federated, membership-based model. The ICA movement is grounded in local communities, 
with programs led by and for women in response to the unique needs that they see in their communities. Europe The European ICO includes national ICAs in Belarus, Denmark, Great Britain, Norway, Romania, and more. The European ICA is a regional legally registered body serving as an umbrella organization for the national ICAs around the European continent. Middle East, Middle East, 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 East. The ICAs of the Middle East region are in Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, and Palestine. Africa. There are over 20 national ICAs serving communities across the Africa region, including in Burkina Faso, Malawi, South Africa, and Togo. Asia. ICA has a presence in a number of countries in Asia, including Bangladesh, China, India, Korea, Nepal, Taiwan, and Thailand. Sophia Cook established of the Young Women's Christian Association in Singapore in 1875. Pacific National ICAs in the Pacific region include New Zealand, Australia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, and Samoa. ICO Australia dates back to 1880, when the first ICO in the country was established in Sydney to help migrant women. North America In North America, ICO has a presence in the United States and Canada. ICO USA was founded in 1858 and today has over 200 member associations, serving over 2 million women, girls, and their families. ICA USA is one of the largest provider of domestic violence programs and shelters in the United States. ICA Canada dates back to 1870. Today, ICA Canada has over 30 member associations. ICA USA is headquartered in Washington, D.C. Previously, its headquarters were in the Empire State Building in New York City. Caribbean National ICAs in the Caribbean region include Barbados, Grenada, Haiti, and Trinidad and Tobago. Latin America ICAs of Latina America include Argentina, Belize, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, and Honduras. Leadership since 1855 Partners As a movement that values collaboration and centers young women's leadership, the World ICA is involved and is a part of the Big Six Alliance of Youth Organizations, World Alliance of Young Men's Christian Associations, World Young Women's Christian Association, World Organization of the Scout Movement, World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts, and the International. It is also a member of Accountable Now ACT Alliance and has consultative status with ECOSOC of the United Nations. World ICO works in partnership with a number of ecumenical players, World Council of Churches, Lutheran World Federation, etc., and a number of international institutional and government donors.